Hi, Gemini. If it's your birthday this week, happy birthday. Thank you for joining me. Um, so let's get started with your weekly May uh, 18th to 24th, 2016 reading. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved to help bring up more clarity into your week. See how whatever I say, whatever I pull, the signs, the symbols, the feelings resonates in your world, your life, your situation, and then um, adapt that to your own sense of spiritual attunement and own psychic sense that you have to um, help you move forward in your situation with more love and clarity. So these are cards I pulled for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved. So we're all brought to a place of um, beauty and peace and love. So I started with a bunch of Oracle cards and numerology. I'm going to show you what I have to begin with. And then I have four separate piles, four different tarot card decks that I will pull. Sorry. My father is teaching my sister's boyfriend to do some work in the garden and it's very loud. So thank you for bearing with me here. Um, and on and on it goes again. Okay, I hope you can hear me. So Gemini, what do we have this week? So I'm gonna pull four. I have the Voyager deck, okay? The Psychic Tarot deck the Hanson Roberts and my mystery deck that I'm going to pull on camera for you. And then I'm going to show you what I have for your Oracle cards now. So thank you for joining me. So Gemini, Gemini, first, I want to tell you that you have number 87, synchronicity. So this week, look for signs, look for symbols, look for the times when what you're thinking in your head appears in your life. The conversation you had with someone suddenly is on the radio or on an advertisement or something. Maybe that's pointing you on a way. Maybe it's not even pointing you on a way. Maybe it's making you just more aware that your, uh, your thoughts, and especially when your heart is behind it, can manifest in your world. So you got some synchronicity happening this week. Then you have number three, creativity. So. You need to use your creativity this week. Um, I'm going to show you this one because it's it is a weird one. This is the orphaned card. This was from the Wisdom of the Oracle. It's number five, and I'm going to start with this because it's sort of somber, Gemini. So maybe there are some Gemini's out there, or they're somewhere in yourself at some point this week where you might be feeling like an identity loss. Or something happened that you you recognize that you feel like you don't fit in a little bit from your surroundings um, and you're feeling a little bit of a need to belong maybe um, but you have to remember you can't be everything for everybody right you can't always make everybody love you you just have to be who you are and let people love you um, you can't change yourself for somebody else. You can change yourself for you. So don't worry about what other people think of you or fitting in. Because I'm going to show you your next card totally makes that better. This is the no place like home card. This is having authenticity in yourself and who you are and having your own light beam forth. That home is where the heart is. So if you're being who you are and you're being yourself, by the way, you also have the peacock, which is telling you to let yourself stand out and be noticed. Gemini, you're awesome. Let yourself stand out, be different, be noticed, be creative. And then look, you also got this. You got a theme here. I actually wasn't going to give you two. This was the card you pulled for the oracle. And this was at the bottom of the deck. So I felt like I needed to bring something more towards the orphan card. So in order to feel like you fit in, you need to just fit in with yourself and not worry about fitting in out here because in the end, you know, home is where you love being. This card also is, an, is a sign to make yourself a place that you feel comfortable in, Gemini, a place that you can rest, 
recoup and create in. Maybe you don't feel like yourself because you're not being creative enough. Maybe you need a space so that you can feel some creativity in your life and get your confidence and go out looking like a peacock later and just bringing your house with you because it's here, right? No matter where you go, it doesn't matter if you own this. So this is you feeling good in your own skin. And this is home. This literally talks about your home. And then you have home. You know, no place like home, no place like home. Um, you need a place, oh, it's weird. This is telling you, you need a place to feel like you, you fit in and belong. And this is telling you that you feel like you don't belong. So maybe this week you're finding where you belong, Gemini. Where is your home? Where is your heart? Where is that place that you go into that allows you to rest and breathe and feel free, free, free like yourself? You want to dance around and, you know, look a little bit crazy dancing to some weird music. It's your home. You should feel comfortable there. Maybe you need to work on your home a little bit to make sure you have that freedom there so that you feel like yourself. So when you leave your house, you can be that same peacock self as you leave. All right, so I have four piles. I'm gonna get going and I'm gonna pull for the greatest good of everybody. Um, what does God, higher self, angels, um, spirit guides, whatever you believe, Gemini is cool. I want you to know about this week, May 18th, 24th, 2016. One card from this deck. Further clarity, one card from this deck. Further clarity. Oh my. Oh my. That was a couple, so I'm gonna come back and continue. But I did see that one was the base chakra. So working on that sense of survival, that sense of passion, that sense of I am that drives you forward that root chakra, passion, All right? One more card for Gemini. Oh, Gemini, you have, like, I can't give you half the deck. I need to, <laughs> Gemini. Lots of energy with Gemini. What do we have? That one. And I have these all facing down because I do start to analyze as soon as I look at the cards. So I'm trying to get the shuffling and be organized down so that I can spend a little more time on the reading and don't get sidetracked. Sometimes I have the attention span of a gnat. Okay. All right, what do we have, Gemini? All right, so these I'm gonna show you are words of truth. I pulled three cards um, in each of the four piles I have for you, Gemini. So let me show you this. And this is by uh, Ron Russell, Diamond and River Fire Jameson. So they're pretty simple, I don't need to explain. And I already pulled three cards on each pile. We'll see how the energy goes with the cards I just pulled. So the female side of you this week, Gemini, May 18th, 2016 to 24th, 2016. Um, the feminine part in your, in your situation, the other, or that's you, or the feminine receptive part of you, you got Wow, Gemini, you got the Ace of Cups. Wow, Lord of the Root of the Powers of Water. So you have a brand new start in love. Look at these flowers bursting, bursting out. Allowing a new start, Gemini. This is gorgeous, this is a good start. All right, your cards are Form, Indulgence, and Reclamation. All right, I'm gonna Pull the second pile, this is the issue at hand. Gemini, this is an awesome issue, uh, yay, you have the sunshine. So this is telling you the same thing. This, you need to beam the awesome that you are out to the world. From inside here, out for the world to see. You got the sun, 19. The sun is on you. Go outside and enjoy the sun. What do you need to do to bring this joy that makes you beam this energy gemini you have the ability to affect the world with this beautiful sunshine energy of you live live this week all right let's see what cards are here it's economy 
don't allow yourself to be an orphan, to feel like you're out of place. Own who you are, own your place. And own the fact that even if you're different or that others are different, that that's what's beautiful. That creativity brings all these aspects together to make them work. Gemini, you are the one who's able to do that, all right? Speaking, maybe you need to speak about being different, about others being different, about feeling different. Maybe there's others exactly in your situation. Lying, are you lying to yourself about something? You feel lied to about a situation. Maybe you need to speak. Maybe you need, you, you, you feel like you haven't been heard or 